All right, guys, so today I have a very interesting tool comparison for you. We're going to be comparing a regular hammer to the new electronic hammer. I'm sure most of you are probably wondering, what's an electronic hammer? It's just that. It's a hammer that's electronic. So the way it works is inside the head of the hammer, you have a negatively charged transductive reactor. So since that is negatively charged, Whenever you plug it into a wall, that's a positive charge. So whenever you plug it in, it's gonna do the hammering for you. The whole purpose of this hammer is to really prevent fatigue. So those of you that use a regular hammer for long periods of time, you know that you get a lot of fatigue in the wrist and forearm. So this electronic hammer is supposed to help prevent that. So let's give it a try. All right, so for our first test, we're just gonna use some inch and a half long drywall nails, just something very basic. First, we're gonna use the regular hammer. See how this goes. What you would expect, just a normal hammer. And before we do the electronic hammer, I'm actually going to sink this one in just a little bit. Now we can give this electronic hammer a try. Get this thing plugged in, see if it lives up to the hype. <laughs> okay, I guess there's no way to control the speed, so let's just... I mean, it did its job. I wish there was like some kind of a way that you could control it, but no, once you plug it in, it is just full throttle to the wall. Whenever it starts, instead of it preventing fatigue and being easier to hit, once it starts, it just takes off and you just have to fight it the whole time. So. I don't see how this would prevent fatigue. So let's move on to something else. All right, so next I wanna test this feature of the hammer. I don't really know exactly what this feature is called, but it's, it's just a magnet with a little notch and all it is is just to hold the nail. So that way you can just put a nail in here and then you can you know, just hit it once and get your nail started rather than just holding your nail and tapping it in. I'm really curious to see how that feature is gonna work with the electronic hammer. Because, you know, once you plug it in, it's always moving. So I guess before each nail, you'd have to unplug it, put it on there, and then hope that it doesn't, you know, just take off fast enough to sling the nail off or something. So let's try it with the regular hammer first, see how that works. Okay. Works as advertised. So now let's try it with the electronic hammer. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put one in here. Uh, it seems to be. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. That was, that was faster than the regular hammer. Maybe there is something to this electronic hammer. So now that we've tested driving nails in, I think it's time that we test the claw part of the hammer because after all, that is half of the hammer. So let's just get a couple nails here. I'm gonna drive them in about halfway. That's pretty good. That's a little more than half. And I'll try to pull it out with this hammer. Oh, geez. It's a little tougher than I expected. All right, got it out. Pretty much what you would expect from a regular hammer. Now I guess we gotta try the electronic hammer. Seeing how hard that was with the regular hammer, I think it's, this is gonna be extremely tough for this electronic hammer. I don't know if I want to plug it in and then try to get it in there, or if I should have it set beforehand before I plug it in. I think it's only fair to test it like I would that one, so have it plugged in and then try to scoop underneath of it. Here goes nothing. Oh man, this is, this is gonna be tough. Come on. If I can come on this side. Oh, 
Maybe I can. Oh, I straightened it up. Well, it came unplugged, but it got the nail out, so it works. Wow, so, so what a test. So what do I think of the electronic hammer after using it? I think it has very good intentions with very poor execution. Like you saw, once it's it, the whole purpose of this thing is to help prevent fatigue. But once you saw, once you plug this thing in, you're just along for the ride. And you, wherever it goes, you're going. You don't have a choice. So <laughs> I would like to see like a variable, like an adjustable switch, something that where you can decide how hard you want it to hit. And maybe even like an on and off switch or something so you can leave it plugged in rather than having to unplug it and plug it back in every time. Even then, I just, unless you're somebody that uses a hammer all the time and you're willing to put the hundreds of hours that it would take into mastering this hammer, this isn't gonna be your hammer. So if you're just like an average Joe that uses a hammer two to three times a week, you're better off just using a regular hammer because this one is gonna be way more hassle than it's worth. I would give it maybe like a, like a four out of 10. It's a good concept, but it has a long way to go. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.